Hello YouTube, welcome. Mike the Gambling Guy here and I'm here to bring you the silver bullet. What do I mean by that? Is I'm actually going to be walking through the way that I play Baccarat to find the energy within the game. Remember, everything has a vibrational energy and what does that mean? That means when you go to a session, you're just not, you don't have a set way of playing. You're gonna be open to the energy. Of course, we're always looking for what the energy is providing to us right through the patterns that appear in the game. So one easy way that I found out to at least help me find those patterns is on the cockroach road. That's right, the cockroach road playing Baccarat. So what is the cockroach road? Well, here you're gonna see I'm in, I'm in a live session of Baccarat, right? And the nice thing about playing Baccarat online is that they do all the charting for you. So instead of sitting at a brick and mortar casino where you're actually making all the, the hash marks and the and all the color changes and, and the boxes, here, I'm more likely I can focus on my bets and see what I have to do. So if I'm looking at the cockroach road, let's look at the scorecard. So if I'm over here on the bead road, typically I'll play the bead road when the hand and the shoe was brand new. All right, and then from there, you know, th this is the main road that people are usually making bets on because something's going to appear after every bet. You're going to have something happening. So here you've got the main road, the big eyed road, the long road. And I believe I have this too, right? But that doesn't really matter on this screen uh, because here what I'm playing is the cockroach road. And that's what I want to show you on how to do the cockroach road. Here you can see the cockroach road is normally, in this case, every shoe is different. But here you can see it's really trading blows. Where, not necessarily the same up here, but, but follow, follow the trend. So here I would have went, you know, once it started going red and blue, I would have went blue, I would have went red, I would have went blue. I would have went red, but it went blue. And then when it went blue, I might have went red. <laughs> to be honest, until it went blue. And I probably would have lost this bet um, because it went red. But then once it started going back here, I would have would have certainly have won these. Um, and then I would have eventually got onto this red streak up here. So even though this just went blue here, I'd probably go right here. So so how, what does this mean? Does this mean banker and player? Does it? No, not necessarily. So this means red or blue. Um, you're getting a red or blue hash. So what we're looking for is if the pattern is anticipated. So if it's anticipated, you're gonna be looking for a red hash mark, right? If there's chaos, sometimes I like chaos, bring on the chaos, then you're gonna get a blue hash. And that's really what that means. Is it, and then how do you determine that? And that's what we're gonna talk about is she's gonna kind of sit here and play this shoe a little bit. And the way that we look at that is we actually come up here to the main road and we say, okay, if this is the next box that the blue column would go into, then I need to go to the left three boxes. One, two, three. From this box, is is there a match between this box and this box? Meaning, is it are they both blank or are they both filled with a circle? Well, you can see that they are not. So that means this one, if I went here, would be chaos. So I would be blue if I wanted chaos here, and in this case, I'd probably want beyond blue for chaos. Consider we just had the one red, I'd be anticipating that it's gonna go back to blue for chaos. And here we can see the player did win that. Actually, I'm gonna make my, my image here a little bit smaller so you can actually see the cards when they come out. And we would've saw that chaos would've came out. So what if I wanted in that case, I wanted to have an anticipated bet or a red slash. Well, so once we had figured out going from the next box, so this would be the next box, one, two, three, these are both blank, that would give us a red space if player was the winner. So if I wanted to play anticipated, which in this case I would be playing anticipated, I would have a bet on the player. So far the player has a natural eight. Pretty good number. And that certainly beats a three. So everyone else was probably betting that it was going to be banker because this hasn't gone over three in a long, long time, right? So now you'd be betting that it's gonna be going back to chaos. So I'd go here and go one, two, three, where those match, that'd give me a red mark. 
So in this case, I'd be saying, okay, let's let's make a bet on Banker because Banker is what I'm anticipating is that it, it's going to go back to chaos. Because again, I would get a red mark anticipated if I was here, one, two, three, and these match. So that would be, give me a red mark where that would anticipate that would be uh, an anticipation, which would be a red mark. And I want chaos. So chaos, I had to put a bet on Banker. Did lose that bet. Well, unfortunately, I, I would have been playing those other bets, right? So here, I'm going to go back to chaos. So chaos would be here in one, two, three. Well, that means I'm also making another bet on, on Banker because I'm anticipating that's going to go. And at this point, you're probably going... But Mike, the trend is your friend, right? If the trend is your friend, why wouldn't you just stay on blue? Well, I'm not staying on blue because the trend isn't my friend yet. Because if I'm going by the cockroach road, you can see I'm only in onesies and twosies right now. And we haven't proven that the trend of blue is my friend. So I'm really looking at the energy that is on the cockroach road like that. So by following the trend or following the energy isn't necessarily always following what's on the main road. And that's where I think a lot of people make mistakes is they're looking at the main road. I can sit here and make a bet on the cockroach road and, and let's say I put a, a, a bet on the banker side and a nine comes up on the player side. And I'm, most times you'd be like, I'm done, right? I can't win. And a lot of times I sit here and go, looks like a tie's coming. And it is ridiculous how many times a tie has literally just saved my butt. I mean, it's fantastic. And you're going, it's really the energy of the game. So let's continue to, to walk through and see what we're seeing here. So it went back to anticipated. So in this case, if I wanted to, I don't see any pattern where they're coming two by twos, because that's something that I could look for. Uh, so in this case, I'd be looking for chaos to happen again. So from here, I'm going to go one, I'm going to go one, two, three, these two match. So that would be a bet on player. You can see right now, 55% of the, the people that are playing at this table right now are saying banker is the way to go because I think they're looking at this road and they're saying, let's match all these up because the, the energy could come up to a point where it just wants to oh, see if we're going to get a tie here. Nope. Looks like player's going to get hosed. <laughs> wow. 90 nothing. Too bad I wasn't playing on the dragon on this side. That pays 30 to 1. That's an incredible payout. I think I've only, I've only hit that uh, a couple times. Um, but once you learn to kind of be on the right side of your bet, right, where you're going to be betting, then you can figure that out. So right now we're going to go for chaos. So that would be another red. Got to get my bet in. Because that would be 1, 2, 3. These don't match, right? See how that happens? These don't match. So this would mean chaos is what is expected, and that would be on the banker's side. So seven over four right now. We win. It's not The energy hasn't been taking it over two in the recent history on the cockroach road. And I, I didn't name it. I, um, it's actually, I think, called the Cockroach Pig Road. That's just too long to say, but I mean, it's kind of fun. But, but you can see how the energy of the game is consistent down here on the Cockroach Road. So I hope this helps you. Please leave a message in the comments. Uh, if this is something that you're looking at, at learning more, I can certainly spend more time uh, bringing the game. I mean, you see we got a player who has a natural nine, and that should be... Oh, nine tie and you can see nine tie it doesn't change what is on the cockroach road no, there's no mark all they do is put an indication here on the on the main road that was here of course on the bead road over here on the left they do give an indication uh, where the ties are and at some point I might do another video to show how sometimes you can read where the ties are coming from because again through the energy of the game it'll show you and then you just go <laughs> that paid eight to one you're gonna do your little happy dance um but i'm certainly more than willing and happy to bring you more videos of using the cockroach road um if you like the content 
please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe share this with your friends really trying to grow this community just because i feel there's there's not a lot of great information look at there's another tie you know how many times does the last the last bet of the shoe come out and there's a tie that's awesome um in, in back to back so until next time mike the gambling guy i'm out